In this tutorial, which is the second part of a two-part uh, series, we will be taking a look at the additional tools located in the administration submenu of the system menu found in the menu bar. The administration submenu of the system menu contains a list of a dozen or so tools that are available to the user to uh, configure certain aspects of the system. These are very sort of low level, um, sort of behind the scenes administrative type tools for the system. In the first tutorial, we took a look at the uh, items from device manager through printing. And in this tutorial, we will pick right up with the item in the, in the administration submenu entitled services. Services uh, is a tool that, uh, that allows the user to uh, turn on or turn off various system services or servers, really. There are various daemons, which are little programs that run in the background that can be turned on or turned off. Most of these, I th it's strongly recommended to leave as is. The system is very good at, at detecting what needs to be turned on and turned off. But if one is having problems, there are lots of different options here that, that can turn on and turn off those low-level uh, system services. The next item under administration is uh, shared folders. And this is a way to select which folders on your system are going to be served over the LAN or shared using NFS or Samba. First of all, those services need to be installed. And as you can see, this dialog box is, is, is instructing me that those services are not installed. I will not install them at this time. But if one wanted to uh, share folders over the network, one would first click install services and then uh, the tool will go through and you can add, as you can see by the grayed out buttons, folders and other locations on the system uh, that one wants to share over the network. Now, the, uh, the next uh, tool, the next uh, two tools, deal with adding software to the system. And these will be a uh, subject of another tutorial, but for purposes of this tutorial, uh, I would like to just show you very quickly what they are. This first item is entitled Software Sources, and this is a graphical tool where one can go and enable or disable the different internet uh, repositories. The, the, in other words, the different servers that one could download software from. Linux is different from Windows in that one usually, not always, but usually does not download new software from the websites of that software, but instead downloads them from the websites of the Linux distribution that's being used. So if one is using Ubuntu Linux, one would typically install new software from Ubuntu Linux, even if it's software that Ubuntu did not create. It could be third-party software. Maybe it's third-party video tools or graphical tools or some new games or what have you. Uh, one usually installs that software from your Linux distribution and not from other websites. And so this particular dialog box is where one can go to enable or disable different servers on the internet from which to obtain new software. The next tool, which goes along with the one we were just looking at, is entitled the Synaptic Package Manager. Uh, in Linux, pieces of software are often called packages. And so this particular piece of software allows one to view and search for new software to install, new packages, in other words. And uh, it's a very simple three-pane window in this uh, top uh, portion are a list of all the packages. In the left-hand uh, side are uh, various categories. Currently, all is selected, but one can narrow that by simply looking at, for example, email-related software only. Uh, and then, of course, the list in the right will change to show you just email uh, or can go back to all. And uh, simply selecting software is as easy as highlighting a piece of software and clicking mark for installation and then clicking apply, which will then light up once a package is selected. Again, that is a subject of another tutorial, but the Synaptic Package Manager is the piece of software that allows one to add new software to the system. The next uh, tool is the uh, system log, and this is a graphical tool to allow the user to view different system logs on the system. 
the authorization log, the messages log, the system log, and the XORG log. The XORG is the X window system, which is what runs the graphical environment. So if there are error messages or problems that one is receiving, those logs may contain some helpful information. The next item under system administration is the system monitor, and uh, this is a tool that uh, shows you various little graphical charts regarding the CPU usage and the memory and the processes and um, your uh, file systems, how much free space there is and things like that. Those are all under system monitor. The next tool is the uh, time and date graphical tool, which allows one, as you can guess, to set the time and date and to set the time zone. There's also a way to keep your clock synchronized with various internet servers. If one checks this box, you'll be prompted to install some software from the internet. It will download and set it up automatically, but that's just a one-time deal. And Or you can just manually synchronize once by clicking the Synchronize Now button. Uh, the next uh, tool is the Update Manager. Now, the Update Manager is a, a daemon uh, that runs in the background. And in fact, one can see this icon in the upper half of the screen, this little orange icon, that is the Update Manager. This icon will appear in the menu bar when there are updates to install. It's sort of like Windows Automatic Update. Uh, it, it will appear when there are updates, and it will disappear when everything has been updated. Clicking on this box, this yellow, this orange box, this orange icon, will open up this same window that's open now. It's simply that going to system and software updates is another way to get there. And this will show the, the number of updates that are available, the download size, and whether or not you want to install the updates. The last uh, tool in the administration submenu located under the system menu is users and groups. And this is where one can go to manage the users and the groups on the system. One can add a new user if one wants uh, by clicking Add User. And there are different groups uh, available on the system. And uh, opening up this Manage Groups box will allow you to assign users to particular groups on the system. That concludes the look at the administration submenu of the system menu on Ubuntu Linux. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.